Hey Sam. Hey Bob. <clears throat> oh god, out of coffee again. Shoot. Hey, it's Bob from Brightway Supply. I'm glad you're here because today I wanted to talk to you about cabinet lighting. You know, for a couple product generations now, manufacturers of LED modules for cap backlighting cabinet size have used lensing in their product. This lensing allows a very uniform light distribution and when used properly will remove the striping that you often see with fluorescent lighting in cabinets. In the last year to year and a half, we've seen modules come on the market that are aimed at channel letters that also include these lenses. These lenses allow very shallow channel letters to be lit evenly. But we at Brightway said, why not take these modules and try them in backlighting cabinet signs? And that's what we're going to show you today. Marty and I have done some testing, and we're going to call this our low-end channel letter cabinet lighting shootout. So come on along, and we'll show you what we've done. Does somebody know how to make coffee around here? Hey Marty, you're not around that coffee. Bob, good to see you. I love a good LED shootout. What we're going to be using for our testing is this 2 by 4 foot sign. It's 6 inches deep. It's got our Brightway logo here on the Lexon face. And we're going to be setting up all of our competitors in two different configurations for this test. The first one, we're going to put them in three rows, which would be 8 inch spacing between the rows, 21 modules total. The second configuration is going to be two rows spaced 12 inches apart and we're going to inspect all the, uh, the results visually and with a digital lux meter. I think you'll be surprised at what we found out when we did this testing. I think you're going to learn that you can populate a sign like this or even larger with inexpensive LEDs and not overspend on your lighting. Yeah, so sit back, watch, and enjoy. You may learn something. I know we did. Let's meet our contenders. We started with four different NCLED low cost, high quality LED modules for this shootout. We have shipped over 150,000 of the current NCLED modules to date and have yet to see a return due to failure or dimming in the field. We are confident that these new products from NCLED will also provide the same great performance. All of the modules we tested are 12 volt, are lensed for wide angle spread of light, are IP68 rated, and have a five year manufacturer's warranty. Our first contender is the non-Samsung 0.72 watt 6500K NCLED module. This module is best suited for channel letters, but since it's also the lowest cost module we carry, we didn't want it to feel left out, so we put it in the crosshairs of our shootout. We measured the power consumption and confirmed that these modules average out at a typical power of just over 0.68 watts. This allows you to run up to 80 modules on one 60 watt class 2 driver. We quickly confirmed, however, that while these perform very well, especially in channel letters, compared to the other products in our shootout, the 0.72 watt just didn't hit the target for cabinet applications. Because our next module costs just a fraction more than this one, this shootout is now down to three great one watt options. Next up is our non-Samsung one watt 6500K module. This non-Samsung LED module is a great balance between price and performance. It's the most affordable one watt module we offer. Weighing in at 80 lumens per module and measuring just 0.91 watts, it won't blind you, but it won't empty your wallet either. As with all of our 1 watt modules, NCLED recommends a total load of 50 modules per 12 volt 60 watt class 2 driver. Although this will typically add up to only around 45 watts of LED load on a 60 watt power supply, it allows for the derating of the driver at high temperatures, extending its serviceable life. Our next contender is the Samsung 1 watt 6500 Kelvin NCLED module. This module is the same as the previous module, but with Samsung LEDs. The benefit of the Samsung LED is improved efficiency. 
they produced 95 lumens at the same one watt power consumption. Our testing did confirm that these averaged the same 0.91 watts per module as the non-Samsung version. So for a little bit more, but still a lot less than the premium solutions, you can get this one watt 6500 Kelvin module with three Samsung LEDs. And finally, our Samsung one watt 9500 Kelvin NC LED. If you prefer a higher color temperature, you can get this module for the same price as the previous Samsung module. The lumen output is just slightly less at 92 lumens, but interestingly enough, the higher color temperature actually makes this LED module appear brighter than its 6500 Kelvin brother. It has been our go-to module for cabinets and has always performed very well. Click on the link in the top right to see a video we made installing these modules with our universal mounting rails. Time for a little quiz. Take a look at the two pictures of our cabinet. Again, this is a two foot by four foot cabinet. It's six inches deep. The cabinet looks evenly lit in both images. One of these is lit with only two strokes of NC LED and the other is lit with three strokes of modules. I should mention here that all of the images we're using for this comparison in the video were taken with a Lumix FC1000 camera and we took the pictures in a manual mode with fixed settings of ISO 200, an f-stop of 5, a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second, and a focal length of 45 millimeters. The images were captured in JPEG so there was no post-processing outside of the camera. If you guess that A had two strokes of modules, don't worry, you'll have other opportunities to guess correct later in the video. B is lit with two strokes of NC LED, one watt 9500 Kelvin Samsung modules. A is lit with three strokes of the 6500K non-Samsung modules. This demonstrates the capability of these lens modules to spread the light very evenly at only six inches from the face. Although the Samsung solution has slightly less total lumens in this example, by using only two modules per square foot, the cost is slightly less than the non-Samsung equipped cabinet. Although the cabinets looked evenly lit from a visual standpoint, I wanted to understand what the cabinets looked like from a lux meter. The results were very similar for each of our competitors, with just the overall brightness being different. These charts are from the 9500 Kelvin Samsung modules. If you compare the charts, you'll see that to the meter, three rows do produce a more evenly lit surface. From the chart, you can also see a more pronounced valley in the sign lit with the LED space 12 inches on center. Again, to the naked eye, in our cluttered lab here, the face of the sign with two rows looked very good, although not as bright, obviously. The keen among you may have noticed by now that we're testing two different color temperatures for the shootout. One of the interesting discoveries we made while conducting our tests was that the color of the face and the vinyl design can be influenced greatly by the amount of light you put behind it. Look at the three pictures here. Two of the three are populated with 6500 Kelvin LEDs. The third is our 9500 Kelvin. Time for the next question on our quiz. Which sign is lit with the 9500K modules? These pictures of the cabinet are all lit with just two strokes of LEDs. Notice how the white face and the colors of the vinyl design look very similar in each of the photos. If you guessed that C was the 9500K LEDs, you either have a great eye for color or possibly a penchant for cheating by moving your mouse ahead in the timeline, looking at the thumbnails of the video to see what the answer was. Now look at this set of images. In this case, we have three rows of LEDs in each cabinet you can now clearly identify the image with the Samsung 9500 Kelvin modules. No cheating required in this case. Overpopulating the LEDs is causing the color of the sign to be influenced by the color temperature of the LEDs, not the other way around. Using lens modules at a wider stroke reduces your cost of the LEDs. It may reduce the number of drivers required, which increases the reliability, and it reduces power consumption all while preserving the true colors of the sign's design. Now let's take a side-by-side -side look at all of the contenders. 14 modules in two strokes on the left pictures, 21 modules in three strokes on the right. In every case, the sign appears well lit. We believe most customers would be satisfied with any one of these options when looked at independently. When compared as a group, however, you can see that the signs on the right 
with three strokes of modules were noticeably brighter. But in most cases, I don't think they improved the appearance enough to justify the additional cost, unless you're using perf or day-night vinyl. In that case, you may even want an additional stroke of LEDs. So there you have it. Three great, low-cost, high-quality options for your next cabinet sign. We are awarding our pick for best overall to the 9500K Samsung module and awarding the best value award to the 6500K non-Samsung module. Check out these and other great products at brightwaysupply.com and feel free to comment below. We always welcome your feedback. And don't forget to check out our other videos on the Brightway Supply channel. And remember to subscribe so you know when we release new videos. See you soon.